Hi everyone, it's Bitesize CG. Learn 3D by taking small bites. In this tutorial series, we're going to uh, learn how we can create this scene here of uh, an X wing in the main image. And we have some more here. We have some planets and we have our space. So we're going to do everything in a Blender. So hop on into Blender 2.79. And we're going to first set up our um, workspace so that we can uh, start creating easier. First of all, uh, just uh, close this uh, left panel by pressing P. I'm going to turn on screencast keys so you can understand easier what I'm doing. So first of all, we're going to delete this light source. We don't need it right now. And we're going to hide the cube and the camera. Before we start the uh, uh, modeling, we always need, uh, uh, need reference images. For that, you can Google out, but for this tutorial, I already uh, prepared some reference images that you can use. So you can uh, find them in the uh, info section below. Download them, I didn't create them, but uh, I also left a source uh, link to where I got them. I just uh, made them uh, easier to set up. So we're going to drag this bar down and we're going to start uh, adding the background images, the reference images by pressing N We go up here. You see background images, we're going to select that, press to go down and we're going to uh, add four images and we press four times. So add image four times, one, two, three, four. So we add the image by pressing open and going to the place where we added the, we downloaded the images. If you see them uh, not having a thumbnail, you can select by uh, selecting the name of the image or just press up here and you will see the thumbnails. First, we're going to add the side uh, image, open it and you don't see anything, right? So first we're going to go to orthographic mode by pressing numpad and we're going to press 1. So now we can see it. But if we just, uh, leave it like this, uh, you will have all the um, uh, sides just like this. For example, if you press numpad 3, you will still have this image. But we can change it here. Go to the image you just added and go to axis and from all views, select front. And now it disappeared from that side. And if you press numpad 1, you still have it. So we're going to add the rest of the images. We're going to select again. This time we're going to select the top view. And uh, now it's, uh, you see it like it overlaps. So we're going to select from uh, instead of front, we're going to go top. And now if we press numpad seven, it goes to the top. So we're going to add the, the rest of the images go here, X-Wing, and we're going to add the front view. So, from the front view, we're going to change it to right. When we press numpad 3, is go, going to go to the right, and we're going to see the front view. And the last image will be the back. So, select it. And instead of right, we're going to change it to left. And if we press numpad uh, 9, it's just going to go in the reverse, so we can see the back. But just um, make sure that you center all the images, uh, like where the cursor is. It will be easier for you to model further. So we're going to set uh, select uh, where this image. So we have front, and we're going to use this scrollers here to align it better to the center it goes down like this we're going to press point zero five it's more or less to the center so make sure that you do the same with the rest of the images for example uh, the top it's not quite aligned to the center and the back also so we're gonna go no we don't need that we just need to go a bit down so 0 0.05, no, 0 0.03. It's 
not yet there. So more or less like this. And if you want to see all the images at once, uh, just press Control Alt View, and you see all the references at once. It's going to make uh, uh, the workflow easier when you uh, when you model, so you don't have to press always a numpad one, numpad three, and so on. In the next tutorial, we're going to start modeling this X-wing, but uh, before. Uh, um, we continue with the next tutorial just make sure that you save or always save your uh, files and uh, see you in the next tutorial if you found this uh, useful leave a like or a comment if you have any questions and if you didn't subscribe yet consider subscribing thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial see you everybody